In the dynamic landscape of the upcoming 2024 presidential election, recent polling trends indicate a remarkable resurgence for Donald Trump, positioning him competitively against Kamala Harris across several key states. The analysis of polling data reveals Trump's notable gains, particularly in traditionally contested regions, which raises significant implications for both candidates as they head into the election cycle. In Arizona, Trump has surged ahead of Harris by an average of 1.1%, a shift that reflects a historical pattern where Republican candidates have consistently outperformed their polling predictions. The weighted polling errors from previous cycles suggest that Trump's lead may be even greater than reported, potentially placing Arizona firmly in the Republican camp. This adjustment highlights the importance of considering historical polling inaccuracies when interpreting current data, especially in a state that has leaned Democratic in the past but shows signs of shifting political allegiance. Conversely, Colorado presents a stark contrast as it continues to trend leftward. Despite Biden's earlier victories, Harris's lead in Colorado remains substantial. The state's polling history indicates that Democrats have been consistently underestimated in past elections, solidifying its status as a safe blue state. This demonstrates the divergent paths of states within the same election cycle, underscoring the complexities of voter sentiment. Florida emerges as a crucial battleground, with Trump commanding a solid lead of six percentage points over Harris. This advantage is underscored by Florida's history of underestimating Republican support in polls, leading to a recalibration of expectations. Trump's performance in the state reflects a broader trend of Republican strength in recent elections, further positioning Florida as a likely Republican state in the electoral map. In Georgia, the race is exceedingly tight, with Trump holding a slender lead of just half a percentage point. The polling accuracy in Georgia has been notably reliable in recent cycles, suggesting that the competition here will remain fierce. The historical polling errors indicate that Trump's actual advantage may be slightly larger, though both candidates face significant challenges in solidifying their bases in this pivotal state. Shifting focus to the Midwest, Iowa shows promising signs for Trump, even in the absence of recent polling data. Historical trends indicate a strong Republican presence in the state, reinforcing its classification as likely Republican based on previous election outcomes. Meanwhile, Michigan, a crucial battleground, reveals a potential vulnerability for Harris. Recent polls show Trump leading by a narrow margin, a significant shift from the previous cycle, where Democrats maintained an edge. Michigan's historical polling errors suggest that the Republicans could have a stronger foothold than anticipated, making it a state to watch closely. Minnesota presents an interesting case. While Harris leads, her margin has diminished compared to Biden's past performance. The state's polling history indicates a tendency to underestimate Republican support, which may complicate Harris's campaign strategy. On the other hand, Nevada reflects a more competitive landscape, with Trump leading by a slim margin in certain polls. The state's voting history has typically favored Democrats, but recent trends suggest that this could be changing, adding another layer of complexity to the election. As the analysis continues through states like North Carolina and Ohio, the narrative of Trump's resilience becomes more pronounced. North Carolina has demonstrated a slight Republican advantage, adjusting for historical polling errors that consistently favored Democratic candidates. Ohio, once viewed as a bellwether, now appears securely in Trump's column, with significant leads in recent polls reinforcing its classification as a safe Republican state. Looking towards the remaining battlegrounds, Pennsylvania emerges as a critical focal point. Trump's narrow lead here signals a shift in voter sentiment, particularly as polls have historically underestimated his support in the state. The implications for both campaigns are significant, as losing Pennsylvania could severely hinder Harris's path to electoral victory. The expansive map illustrates a competitive race, with Trump positioned favorably in several battlegrounds, while Harris holds her own in others. The final analysis indicates a potential Trump victory with 306 electoral votes against Harris's 232, a scenario that underscores the volatility and unpredictability of electoral dynamics. In conclusion, the polling landscape for the 2024 election is marked by both opportunities and challenges for the candidates. Trump's recent gains in critical states signal a potential shift in voter sentiment, while Harris must navigate the complexities of historical polling inaccuracies and changing demographics. As the election approaches, the ability of each candidate to adapt and respond to these evolving trends will be crucial in determining the outcome of this highly contested race.